Joe Zorger here with Dr. Malone for another installment of Zorger Law TV. Specifically, we're doing another uh, segment on the medical series dealing with car wreck related injuries. This particular segment is going to, Doctor, we're going to talk about the uh, injuries related to airbags. Uh, pretty much every case uh, where we have clients that come in, they come in and they, of course, the airbag has gone off in these bigger collisions and they have, uh, a lot of them have abrasions. Uh, mostly superficial abrasions on their forearms from the airbag being deployed. Um, also, it, it happens so fast, they, they have the initial impact from the other vehicle, either head-on or rear-end collision, and then they have this explosion that happens in their face. Literally, an explosion happens in your face. And so they, they go through the trauma of the actual initial wreck, and then the explosion in their face from the airbag, the burn from the airbag on the arms, and then of course they're 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 meeting with me about uh, neck, back uh, injuries, uh, fractures in their arms or legs or knee injuries. Um, from a, from the medical side of things, what are we dealing with in regards to these airbags? Okay, so as you mentioned, the airbags it's like a shotgun going off. It's going to be loud. So some people have ringing in the ears, and they said they got a headache just from that noise itself. Their like, airbag deploys in like a fraction of a second, one twentieth of a second is that fast. And so if someone has a superficial injury, it's usually going to be an abrasion of some sort, and it's going to be on the side of the body if it's the side impact, or it's going to be along the arm if it came off the steering wheel. And that's the most common, the superficial abrasions. And you can get contusions or bruises if it's a little bit more forceful, again, depending on the body habitus and how the airbag contacted you initially. But the real bad ones, the, the things you see in the news uh, as far as the recalled bags, that's getting lacerations, getting impaled, getting some sort of... Um, Facial nerve injury. Yeah, a shrapnel device that, that hits, again, right into your face, out of, that, out of that steering wheel or along your arm where it lacerates part of your arm. And those are the, the more extreme versions that you'd want to be Those are about. early 2000 model uh, Japanese-made cars for the most part. Um, if you think you have one of those injuries, it's a whole different ball of wax. Uh, you can contact us and we can let you know the VIN numbers that, that might qualify you for that uh, victim's compensation fund because they actually have money set aside mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. Um, long and short of it is the way this comes up in a general uh, car wreck related practice is when the airbag goes off you have these collateral injuries from the airbag deploying including the, the burning uh, on the arms mainly. Um, as well as concussions, post-concussion syndrome from yeah. the actual impact of the airbag. Yes. So, if you've been in a car wreck and you have these uh, abrasions on your arm, you have these concussion uh, symptoms and you don't remember striking your head on anything, it's likely that you struck your head on the airbag. Mm -hmm. um, you can always find us on the... By the way, if your airbag went off, you have a significant car wreck, okay? They don't go off for fender benders. If your airbag went off, you probably need a lawyer. So call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Uh, on the web at zarzalaw.com. Thank you.